Hey guys, Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now we're at the Carnesville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center again today. Now, if you revert back to probably 15, 20 plus videos, maybe even more than that, uh, but last year's breeding season for the Burmese pythons, the cobras, things like that, we said something about putting up an episode on how we get the baby Burmese and like baby boa constrictors when we have them to take their first few meals. So we're going to go into that right now. But before we do, right here in this corner, that's our subscriber button. Go ahead and hit that if you have not done so. We appreciate you doing that. And if you have already subscribed, we appreciate you following on week after week after week. All right. Now, sitting in my kitchen, let's go ahead and check this out on how we deal with every single year when we have Burmese python babies, uh, how we deal with getting them to take their first few meals. Check this out. Okay, so we're going to try feeding, feeding these babies. They're starting to shed finally after about 16, 16, 18 days, something like that. They went long past the normal, the normal 10 day, 10 day shed cycle. And first chick is inherently pissy. Well, she bit it. There we go. There we go. Now, let's see if you can see this. She has bit it. And curled it up. Right there is what we want to see. Put them in there and they'll harass them and then I'll just take them. Baby girl number two. One of the other tricks that we do, we just take and just put those fuzzies right in with them. Let them just walk all over them and just piss them off. We don't always harass them with the food. We'll sometimes just put them in there inside of their little container with them. And just let them harass them. You see this girl right here is absolutely enjoying it. That's a big old fuzzy. This chick right here. Right there, you can see that big old knot in her belly. I wonder if she's gotten hers. So this is how we feed these little guys. <clears throat> Essentially, we leave them somewhat wild. We don't mess with them. We leave them in individual containers. Leave them in the incubator. Uh, put them in a little bit of water. And, uh, and once they're... Once they're through their shed, we'll dump the water out uh, with the shed and uh, we'll start trying to offer them their first meal. Ultimately, all we're doing is just pissing them off to the point where they get so mad at them, they take them. It's, they're just, they're really gullible that way. Um, so very, very easy to get to take food, just like boas. Boas are really, really gullible as well. Now, I'll set her over there. <clears throat> let, her, let her do her thing. All right, now isn't that interesting? Now here's the great thing about this. Berms and boas and retics are pretty doggone aggressive as babies. That's exactly why they're so easy to get to take the first meals. Ball pythons and corn snakes are absolutely retarded snakes when they're babies. I mean, just, they're ridiculous um, as to how hard they can be to sometimes get to take their first meals. Once they do, then it's absolutely fantastic. But when it comes down to the point of ease of taking first meals 
or which ones are better or which ones are not. Uh, berms, retics, and boas, hands down. Pretty simple. They're easy to uh, goat right into taking food. If something's touching them, it just pisses them off and they just want to hit it. Uh, so ultimately, that's just a great way of doing that. Hopefully, this has been helpful. Uh, again, we breed Burmese pythons, have been doing it for years and years and years. And uh, a lot of people are getting into the berms and the retics and boas and things like that. And uh, hopefully, this gives you a little bit of a helping hand in, uh, in exactly how to start uh, your baby Burmese eating. It's one of several ways that you can do that, getting them taking their first couple of meals. Now, again, this is Chad. We are the Reptile Rangers here at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like button, hit the bell for notifications. Our description or our information will be in the description below for folks that need to get in touch with us. People are calling us or texting us or emailing us all the time, especially about medical questions, as many of the medical videos as we've been putting up. Uh, we've been helping a lot of people with their animals, but anytime you have any questions that needs our immediate attention or needs answers, uh, uh, questions answered, uh, just go ahead and get with us in the description below. Feel free to leave a comment. We appreciate you doing so. We appreciate you following along week after week after week. We'll either see you here at the zoo or we'll see you on the next episode. Later.